We're in Microsoft Exchange Online in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell to create a new mailbox. You might have seen some PowerShell commands that don't work, but this one will absolutely work for you. So I went ahead and broke these commands down, or this one command, into multiple separate uh, little sections so we can explain each one. So we've got, we're going to be using the new mailbox command, as you see here, and that's followed by the alias command. So Exchange needs to have an alias, and in this case, we're going to make sure that it matches our name that we're going to put in after the alias. After that, we're going to use the display information, such as first name, last name, and display name. And the display name we're going to put in quotes because it has a space in it. After that, we're going to be putting in the Microsoft Online Services ID, and that basically is just the user's main mailbox, the one that not only will receive email on, but also respond. Now, if you have uh, aliases for email addresses, you can add those as well. You can either do that in the GUI, or you can, again, do it in the uh, command line as well, but we're not going to show that particular thing here. And after that, we've got the minus password, so we can put in our password, and you've got to put it just like you see here with the exception of the, the word password itself. So you see the capital P at SS. You can put in whatever password you want. Just make sure they're in those single quotes as you see there. And then after that, we've got the reset uh, password on next logon set to true. You can set it to false if you don't want to force them to uh, reset the password. But in this case, the password is not a very good one as far as compliance goes. Goes. So we're going to force that user to change the password. Otherwise, like I said, just choose false instead of true. All right, so I'm going to move this off camera here, and I'm going to paste in these various different pieces of this command one at a time. And I wanted to show it to you as I did because some of these different parts of the command kind of go difficult to read, such as alias turns into a very light gray. So let's go ahead and keep pasting in these different things. We've got the alias in, now we've got the name in for Mike T. After that, we've got our first name for Mike and our last name for Thomas. And we've got the display name of Mike Thomas. And then we've got our online services ID. And you can see it bleeds into the next line, but that's okay. It's still considered one long command. Now we're going to be putting in our password information. There it is. And now we're even on to a third line. And then we've got the reset password at next logon set to true. All right, so all of that is in place. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And it says after you create the new mailbox, you got to go to add a license to it. And in this case, it looks like it was created. Let's go ahead and do a get-mailbox and make sure that it shows up. And sure enough, there is Mike T. So that is how you create a new mailbox using PowerShell. You can certainly uh, put this uh, into a CSV file and uh, import that if you want or, or make a new um, PowerShell command out of it. And that could uh, help you automate this entire experience. And that's how it's done in Office 365 Exchange Online.